What's up guys, Jake Kelsic here, and today I'm gonna to run through everything you need to know about unhooking, as well as touch on a few of the first few tricks that you can try once you get comfortable unhooking. One, three, five, go! Uh, coming from the wild, wild west indies. All right guys, so before we actually jump into the specifics of how to unhook, I'm just gonna to touch on why you would even wanna know how to unhook. Basically, once you get comfortable unhooking, you're well on your way to start doing a lot more advanced tricks like handle passes, landing blind, and all that fun stuff. So that's what we're going to work on today. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure your leash is set up for unhooking. I run my leash off the front of my harness right here. And the reason for that is because one, it's just a lot safer in case something goes wrong, like your leash gets caught on the bar and it kites looping and you need to just get rid of everything. It's right here so you can do that. And also, I hook it up in the front because then you can pass from right to left or left to right. It doesn't really matter once you have it in the front. And then the last thing is because I can then wrap it around my body and do double passes while still having my leash on. So first step is get your leash connected to the front and this will just allow you to be very comfortable on hooking. Okay, so next up you want to make sure your chicken loop is set up for unhooking. On Ozone's stock setting, which is seen here, if you were to connect your leash, unhook and let go of the bar, it would completely flag the kite out, which is what we don't want. So what you want to do is actually take that ring and loop it around the chicken loop, which means when you connect your leash, unhook and let go, it will save the kite, but it will not flag it out. So as you can see here, our uh, leash is connected to our chicken loop nice and solid so it will save the kite when we unhook and let go but it will not flag it out. Next up let's talk about the donkey dick. Basically if the donkey dick is attached to your harness it will stop you from unhooking so you want to either remove it completely or just unhook it from your harness if you're just starting out. Okay now that you got your leash and your chicken loop set up you want to get used to actually letting go of the kite when you unhook. As you can see here, boom, our leash is attached, so basically it just depowers the kite and the kite will just crash to one side, nice and softly, we can pull it in, hook back in, and we're pretty much good to go. Alright, so now let's run through unhooking. Donkey dicks out, bar in, unhook, bear down in, and hook back in. So the important thing here is to get used to coming off of your edge when you unhook. As you can see here, I unhook and bearing down wind like this allows me to kill a lot of power in the kite which makes it really easy in my arms and really easy to hook back in. So you want to remember that your edge is your friend. If you unhook and really hold an edge, you are going to get overpowered. So as you can see here, unhook, load an edge, we get a lot of pressure in our arms, release that edge and it's super easy to hook back in. Okay, so this is a technique you want to practice a lot because you're going to be using this forever. Even if you were to pop a huge trick and land, you want to make sure you're always bearing downwind and kind of chasing the kite because that will allow you to hook back in and get things back under control. Alright, now it's time to put it all together and learn how to load and pop. So as you can see, Basically, you want to come in, good speed, unhook, and it's a quick load and pop. As you can see here, quick and hard. The key with unhooking and getting good pop is you don't want to unhook and ride for too long. You want to unhook and then pretty much straight away locking a nice hard upwind edge to get some good board pop. And right here, my kite is around 45 degrees. My hands are in the middle of the bar. And this allows me just to really control how much pop I get using my board. And here's another angle showing what the kite's doing. So pretty much around 45, then a little dip down. Okay, and once you get dialed in loading and popping, you can pretty much do all your beginner tricks on hooks. So back rolls, front rolls, release, grabs, you name it, you can do them all unhooked. Alright, now I'll run through some of the more advanced tricks that we will be covering in future videos. So here we have a back roll to blind. And then a step up from that is a KGB. I've actually already done a video on this. If you want to check that out, it will be linked in the description. Kaboom! 
and the more you ride a hook, the more comfortable you'll get. So before you know it, you'll be hitting rails and doing all sorts of new, fun things behind a keg. Alright guys, so hopefully this video helps you understand how easy it is to start experimenting with unhooking. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. Because in the near future, I'm going to be doing some videos on some more advanced unhook tricks. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Big thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Big ups!